Greetings and salutations. I am Red Bastard, and this is my first Europa Universalis 4 stream that I'm going to put up on YouTube. I've been successful so far in going for all the achievements I want, so when Rights of Man comes out, I do plan to do a video for each and every one of the new achievements that hopefully I will be able to get. In the meantime, I am just going to try out the stream and see how it goes. Just tried playing as Gujarat, and that stream, the sound quality wasn't great. I was getting a lot of feedback, so we're going to have to re-record. Uh, my goal for going for any country here is just something that won't be boring, or something that I haven't played too much. So we're going to try Random Nation, and I may veto what it offers me. And I don't really have any goals other than to entertain and hopefully give some instruction. So, we'll start it off. Single player, and our random nation could be mixed tech. So, mixed tech is going to be very boring as we wait around for Europeans to arrive. So, I would like to veto that choice. England. Do I want to be England? I don't think I actually want to be England. I played as them. They're pretty powerful. I'd like to be somebody um, substantially weaker than that. So, Yarkand. Yarkand is a horde. They're not as powerful as people like Timurids or Ming, anything like that. So I think this is a pretty strong choice. Um, what do they have going from? They are in the Chinese tech group. Um, actually, I guess they are not a horde. They're they're not in the nomad tech group. They are sultanate, and they're Sunni. Obviously, I've never played this one before, so that makes them a good choice. And they do tend to perform well sometimes, so maybe we can do something interesting with the Archon. That's what they have going for them. They get some trade power as their traditions and ambitions. They get trade power. Taxes, diplomatic reputation. They have some religious bonuses, and they do get morale, so that's kind of nice. Plus manpower, and then once again, trade power. So that does lead me to the conclusion that we would like to take over Samarkand and try to funnel a lot of um, the East Asian, Central Asian trade into that area. So this seems like it could be a fun, fun game. Now, the thing I don't like is Yarkand's flag is pretty awful. But you can't have it all. So obviously Iron Man. And we are going to our can do. Positive attitude helps. And here we go, folks. Now, what are our options here? Since we are a Sunni nation, we have the option to pass some piety modifying events, or decisions rather. So this one gives us piety and missionary strength, I like it. This one gives us a little bit of prestige and piety, so we'll take that too. Now, what are our options for a mission? We could go for trying to conquer from Chagatai, and that would give us some autonomy, make that province more useful. Or we could try turning Korla into Sunni. Now, Korla can be converted, uh, and that would let us convert Karkan as well. So I think I'll start with that. And we probably will end up going to war with Chagatai anyway. Well, let's see. Are we in a position to war with Chagatai? We have 8,000 men. And we do have nine, and we could get more. This would give us an immediate cost of spell life. When in favor, choose war. And we're still going to try converting these provinces. See where ruler is. He's not bad. Um, sadly, we cannot force our heir become a general, as he is simply too young. So let's see what our states can give us. They can give us military power here. We could take a general, and I 
don't want to push our mirrors up to up to 85, so we're not going to do that. We also are going to refrain from taking the military power because this diet would push them up even though. Well, it's not 80, so we'll live with it. Now we could tax our Demi, but we're trying to convert. We want the money. I think we want the money. We're trying to convert, get rid of our Demi anyway. They don't have much influence, they don't control any provinces. Let's take some money from our merchants. And we will turn around and give some of that money to our Ulama. Uh, we're pretty far from any tech that we could possibly get. Rivals, Uzbek sounds good. Shagatai sounds good. And we're going to right away. Check tie. We need an ally. Timberites would have been great, just to keep them off our back. Chagatai is rival to Oirot, so I think that's going to be our ideal first ally. Sadly, they don't seem to feel the same way about us. Now, Ming would be a good ally, just to keep them off our back. Champor usually does well. Um, Delhi could end up doing well as well, so we're going to try befriending them and jump poor. Oh, we just got a lot of money, and I think it would be in our best interest to start buying some troops with that cash. So we're going to start recruiting. Uh, our cavalry isn't going to be very good, so we're just going straight up infantry. I like to sit at plus one stability, but we don't have great ruler, so we're going to save that for attack. Okay, we are making some money, so if we can get a morale guy, we're going to take it. Actually, discipline might even be better. So we're going to take that, get to our borders, crank up the speed, and try to invade Chagatai as quickly as we can before they get an ally. Do one the general. And that is a pretty good one. I can't complain about that. So we're going to hold off on embargoing Chagatai for the moment because we want to be able to declare war as soon as possible and then we'll embargo them during the war. Okay, and no third rival, even as we're building up more troops. So we're going to. Clock the speed down just a little bit. And first opportunity, we're going to declare that war. Okay, so we can declare it right away. Let's just do a new troop count. So, sorry, Chagatai. Chagatai has 8,000. So we will get 9 in there. And a few more guys come again. And they are hordes, so they're going to have some bonuses that we're not going to have. But I have faith in us. We'll take advantage of the situation as best we can. Now I'd really like to get an ally, but we're going to have to take this opportunity as it presents itself. So conquest, we're going in, going to get strong, and then we can crank that speed back up. Didn't get any allies. And now we do have that royal marriage, so they will ally us unless this peace deal um, forces them to get upset with us. And Chagatai's troops are coming in. They have 8,000. They have some cavalry. So do we. And we have some reinforcements coming in. And they thought better about that. So they are going to try retreating. We will follow them. And try to... Gather up some troops here. 
and take their capital. Now they're going to go for our capital as well, and that works for us. It might even be worthwhile to scorch earth there. Um, yeah, we're going to do it. We have more troops, we have a siege pip, they don't, we've scorched the earth, and these are mountains in both, or, or ours is a mountain, theirs isn't. So we should be able to siege them out before they are able to siege us out, like that. But we do want to prevent any invasion by the Timurids, so we're going to try budding up to them. It's probably not going to work, they're not going to be our friends, but it might discourage the actual invasion. And I'll take that. Um, Uzbek is invading Oirat, so it's kind of good that we didn't get that. Lance and Timurids have pushed south. That's a fairly standard move for them. Oh, that's not ideal. Okay, are they going for this? You might think better of it. And now it looks like they are committing. So hopefully the rolls will favor us. And they did. So we are one over, and we are going to consolidate that down. Okay, that gives us a nice boost here, as we will be able to take their, their capital before they can do really anything to react. Let's make the dock like us a little more. That couldn't hurt. And we could try to engage them, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. We might have to move all the way around, try to get their capital back, and we will fully occupy them in the meantime and force a humiliating peace onto them. Okay, so what do we want to do? We could increase our piety, and I think that's the move we want to make here. Hey, they are probably pretty upset about this. So let's take some stuff. Their army would become rebels, and I'd rather not deal with that. If I could avoid it. Um, plus, we want to humiliate them, and we want some money. So we're going to let them keep this one province. And this will open up some opportunities to push in. Some other people will probably attack them for it. And I think that's a pretty good deal. So we are going to... Try to core everything that we can. We can avoid these... Revolts, I think that would be in our best interest. Um, but for this one, for instance, we need to see if we can. Although, once we convert it, we might be able to. So, we're going to see what our options are in that regard. Okay, our force went up one, so why don't we get another horse in here? Okay, things are going well. We're still making money at the moment. My rod is pretty pissed about that whole thing. Oh, we've got to... Now we can... Embargo that. So I have two embargoes, we do have a high level of power projection, and I bet they will not be a valid rival for very long, so we'll choose something else. Meantime, I think we should pick up an ally if we can. So we're going to work on that. Now we do border Ming, and that would be a great ally. And I think at the bare minimum we want royal marriage with them just to keep them out of our business. Ten minutes are still hostile, and that's not going to change. Ming has warned us. And we cannot push west, or sorry, east. 
either of these provinces would have been nice for us. Um, but that fantasy has gone right out the window. Okay, so we no longer need to improve relations with Oirat. We do need to improve relations with Ming, so that they do not curb stomp us. And that might be a good place to camp our army out. Might suffer a little bit of attrition here. So let's pull a couple of these guys off and set them there. Because we need allies. We need allies badly. John Poor would probably be a more reliable ally than Delhi. We are losing money. So we're going to fire this discipline guy. It would be worth our while to get the blood rack guy just to pick up an ally. have one Merc that is not worth the money. Let's get him out of there and replace him. I'll have to pay our full wages here. Let's drop this down a little bit. Don't like doing that until we have an ally. Arcan. Yeah, let's get that done as quickly as possible. Our emirs have lost some influence, that's really nice. And why don't we try... As soon as we get some of this stuff cored, we'll try handing over something to our ulama. Okay, man is still hostile, and that's unfortunate. I guess we could get a royal marriage here, which would let us get an alliance. Hope they hate each other, so it's one or the other. Okay, Delhi has 21,000. Jampur has 20,000. Delhi is more likely to get beat up by the Timurids. And again, Delhi is actually willing to accept. Okay, we're going to we are on the side of getting an immediate ally, since we really need it. Okay, that means we can give up that train on Jampur. And who is the ally? Okay, they're allied to Bengal, which wouldn't be a bad choice if we can get them. It's a long shot. But they've got money, they've got fleet. They can at least subsidize our war efforts, and they look good on paper. So that could ward off some invasions. And I would settle for that in an ally. We want the main to accept this, but that hostile attitude is going to hurt us. Okay, so Oirat is in some serious trouble here, but we cannot invade them as Ming has warned us, and Oirat is a neighbor of Ming. So we really don't have any options for expansion unless we push into Uzbek, who has two allies, all three of which are hordes. 
or we can push into Ladakh, which would almost certainly get the Timurids to invade us. They might anyway. I think I will boost this up to decrease our corruption a little, and increase our, our conversion strength. So Irat has decided that they don't dislike us, but I think they will rival us as soon as they get the opportunity. Uh, we're still waiting for the chance to be able to royal marriage on ally Bengal. Let's continue on trying to improve those relations and futility. But I just can't see any better options for whether Diplomats can be doing right now. Could try getting one of these small guys as our ally. Particularly if they're allied to Ming and can discourage Ming from attacking us, but... I'm not sure that that will ever pay off for us. We quite honestly don't have any great options at the moment. If Timurids or or Ming would change their attitude towards us, that would be very welcome. Well, Doc would ally with us, um, but that's more likely to drag us into a war than it is to have them actually honor that alliance. And I think I want to pair troops more, just to look stronger on paper. I'm gonna leave it. Dip them up there. Timurids are invading the dog. No surprises. Don't like the Timurids getting stronger. But as long as they're not invading us, things are not as bad as they could be. So I really, really don't want to go to war with Ming yet. So we could potentially ally Oi Rot if we buddy up with him. And that might keep the Timurids from invading us. So. That sounds like a fine idea. Yeah, so we do want to get these Chagatai gone. And away rot. Let's be friends. Than my original plan, so I'm still comfortable with the idea. Prefer they hadn't been weakened if we're going to be friends, but right now we need to play opportunistically. Yes, we're in much better shape than we were. Few months ago, still in a precarious position. Timurids could invade us and win easily, but they are preoccupied in a war. Ming could invade us and they would win. So we're just going to keep a diplomat there at all times and hope for the best. Uh, 
Okay, so their alliance system changed just a little bit. Yes, you may have all the military access you want. Absolutely no problem making it more difficult for you to declare war on me. Okay, right, so what are they trying to accomplish? So they are trying to conquer Dutch Balik. Sorry, that's us. I think that can't be right. Okay, Riches of India. So they have a mission to push south here. They already took out Multan and vassalized it. They already vassalized Ladakh. Uh, neither of which are super happy with Timurids. Their next target is almost certainly Kashmir. They don't have any claims on us. They can invade us because they are a horde nation. Um, but hopefully they won't do that. They have other attractive targets that will be easy and don't have such a robust alliance system. I'm just going to leave those guys there. Again, our main two security concerns are here. Um, Uzbek is well allied, but they don't have the favors necessary to bring in those allies. So mostly it's a very strong defensive position for them. Definitely want to know what's going on with some of these powerful countries. It's going to with Kashmir, although I think we'll get notification if the Timurids invade them. So the best way that we could get around Uzbek's alliance system is by invading Chagatai when we get the chance, then beating up on Uzbek, and isolating them diplomatically. So Ming is invading Mongolia. I don't want to see a strong Ming, but I'd much rather them push that direction than push west. So any war they're in is probably good news for us. We'll let this tick down. And then we'll converge. So... The suit of you will notice that I had a mission to conquer this province, and that's the one I left behind. It was a dumb move, so I'm going to cancel it. Okay, we got a diplomat back. Our neighbors still hate us. Okay, what happened? Why did we get a diplomat back? And that trust is not great. I have a limited trust. They probably wouldn't defend us. Okay, the one thing that having this mission would have given us is war goal, but we can't fulfill it within the next nine years, so I'm just going to fabricate a claim and get a new mission. Okay, we could drop our army maintenance, but I don't want to do that while we have the two major powers next to us. They are hostile to us, and no troops. Okay, so what we do here, we could give Taraz to the Ulama, we could give it to the Emirs, or we could piss them both off. I think we will give it to the Amirs, and then we will give our Ulama this province. Right now, they will still be upset with... Oh, no, they got over it. And that will make this missionary strength a little higher. Or possibly that's only true... Oh, 
Well, possibly that's only true if if they like us a lot. Now, fair warning, I will be making some rookie mistakes from time to time, and I'll be fumbling around with the interfaces I have not been playing EU4 very much at all. I've been playing Stellaris and Hearts of Iron 4, and then trying out No Man's Sky and the beta of Torment Tides of Numenera, which is quite good. I encourage everyone to play that when it comes out next year. I'm hoping this next ruler is not a militarist. This guy's 65 years old. He could die at any time. The chances are his heir will be a militarist. I believe it's scripted anyway. So we can hope, but those hopes aren't going to get us very far. Okay, unfortunately we are making a little bit of money even though we're paying our troops and we have one advisor. I would like to get another advisor here and tech up militarily as quickly as possible. But I'm wondering if we have the finances to do that. I think that would be a pretty good idea. So we're going to go for discipline. Mm-hmm. 